If you want to lock apps on Google Pixel 9a, you can use the private space feature. So we're gonna open settings. Over here we need to scroll down to security and privacy. Scroll down again in order to find a private space. Let's go over here. Then we need to verify ourselves. And here we can press set up. Let's wait a couple of seconds. After that, you need to sign into your Google account, and this Google, this Google account sorry, will be assigned to the private space, because the private space is like a separate environment. So every setting, um, every app that we have inside the private space is a separate one from the list of apps that we have outside of the private space. So just sign into your Google account or any account that you actually wish to use. After that, you can choose new lock so that you can have a separate password from the private for the private space, or you can use the same password that you have for the screen lock. In my case, I'm going to choose a new lock. First, we need to enter the password that is for our um, for our screen lock. So in my case, it is this. There we go. And then you can choose to set up the pattern, pin code, password or any of these, but without the fingerprint, because in this case, in my case at least, uh, I have the option to set up, set up both. So let's say I'm gonna set up a simple pin code. There we go. Enter the password twice, and then you confirm. And then you might see to set up the fingerprint, but if you don't want to set it up, then actually you can press do it later. So you can just set up the password and only the password. And there we go, we are all set, so we can press done. We need to scroll down in the app drawer in order to find the private space over here. Tap on this lock in order to unlock it. And then you should be able to find the all these apps that you can add to the, well, not add, in general, the private space, right? So now if you want to lock the app, we need to install it. So if you press install, you will open the Play Store. And we need to simply search for the app that we wish to have in the private space, even if you already have an app installed on your phone. So let's say if you already have WhatsApp on your phone, you actually need to install it again. So if I search for WhatsApp, I should be able to install it over here, right? And once, it is, once this WhatsApp is installed, it will be actually added only to the private space over here. As you can see here in this list outside of the private space, I don't have WhatsApp because this WhatsApp is assigned to the private space. So everything that we have here is completely separate from everything that we have over here. And of course, in order to open these apps, uh, well, we need to have the password for the private space. We need to unlock the private space first. Unfortunately, it seems that we cannot add a shortcut to the home screen, so the only way to access them is truly to just unlock the private space. So, this is how we can lock apps, and that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, leave a like and subscribe to my channel, and see you in my next videos. Bye!